Didn't you have a flaming sword? Uh... You did. It was flaming like anything. What happened to it? Uh, lost it already, have you? Gave it away. You what? I gave it away. There are vicious animals. It's going to be cold out there, and she's expecting already. And I said, here you go, flaming sword. Don't thank me. And don't let the sun go down on you here. Why do you consume that? You're an angel. It's sushi. It's nice. You dip it in soy sauce. It's what humans do. And if I am going to be living here among them, <clears throat> well, keeping up appearances. Tea? I do not sully the temple of my celestial body with gross matter. Obviously not. Crowley, I've told you, I'm not helping you. I'm not interested. This is purely social. I am an angel, you are a demon. We're hereditary enemies. Get thee behind me, foul fiend. After you. I don't like it any more than you do, but I told you, I, I can't dis... not do what I'm told. An angel! I, oh, I... I can't cope with this while I'm drunk. I'm going to sober up. Yeah, me too. Remember, young Morlock, as you grow, to have love and reverence for all living things. Nanny says living things are only fit to be ground under my heels, Brother Francis. <laughs> well, don't you listen to her. You listen to me. Will you sing me a lullaby, Nanny? Of course, dear. Go to sleep and dream of pain Doom and darkness, blood and brains Sleep so sweet, my darling boy Can I help you? I would like to purchase one of your material objects. Books. Books. Let us discuss my purchase in a private place because I am buying uh, pornography. Pornography. Gabriel, come into my uh, back room. We humans are extremely easily embarrassed. We must buy our pornography secretively. You really are quite a nice. <laughs> Shut it! I'm a demon. I'm not nice. I'm never nice. Nice is a four-letter word. I will Excuse not... me, gentlemen. Sorry to break up an intimate moment. Can I help you? From what I hear, God's a bit tetchy. Wiping out the human race. Big storm. All of them. Just the locals. I don't believe if the Almighty's upset with the Chinese, or the Native Americans, or the Australians. <laughs> well, of course I know who she was. Born 1600, exploded 1656. But there are no copies of her book available. No, I can't name my prize. I don't have it. Nobody had... Well, there really is no need for that kind of language. What was that he said that got everyone so upset? Be kind to each other. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. You know, if you lined up, everyone in the whole world and ask them to describe the Velvet Underground, nobody at all would say Bebop. Salutaria. In Rome long? Just nipped in for a quick temptation. You? Well, I thought I'd try Petronius's new restaurant. I hear he does remarkable things to oysters. I've never eaten an oyster. Oh, let me tempt you to... Oh, no, that's, that's your job, isn't it? Sorry, consecrated ground. Oh, it's like being a bitch in bare feet. What are you doing here? What the deuce are you doing locked up in the Bastille? I thought you were opening a bookshop. Well, I was. I got peckish. Package. 
Well, if you must know, it was the crepes. Can't get decent ones anywhere but Paris. And the brioche. So you just popped across the channel during a revolution because you wanted something to nibble. Dressed like that. I have standards. Uh, Armageddon is coming, and I'm fairly certain it starts today, just after tea time. Exactly, right on schedule. What's your point? Look, will you please stop just for a minute, please? Well? I just... I just thought there was something we could do. There is. We can fight. And we can win. But there doesn't have to be a war. Of course there does. Otherwise, how would we win it? Hmm? Mm, letting the old acid rain build up, haven't we, sir? And letting ourselves go with the old hydrocarbons, perhaps? Sorry? Well, I'm sorry to have to tell you, sir, but your polar ice caps are significantly below regulation size for a planet of this category, so we'll overlook it on this occasion. The fact is, sir, we've been asked to bring you a message. Oh, me? You what? I just got pulled over by aliens. Did you count their nipples? I didn't You're think a witch to... finder, not an alien finder. But I'll make a note of it. Open thine eyes to understand. Open thine eyes and read, I do say, foolish principality. For thy cocoa doth grow cold. Thy cocoa doth grow cold? Cocoa! So I'll, I'll meet you at Tadfield, but we're both going to have to get a bit of a wiggle on. What? Tadfield. Airbase. I heard that. It was a wiggle on. The M25 London Orbital Motorway, which was supposed to look like this, will, when it opens in 1986, actually look like this and represent the dread sigil Odegra in the language of the dark priesthood of ancient Mew. Odegra means hail the great beast. Devourer of worlds. Can I hear a wahoo? Oh, uh, okay. I need to get over the car thing. I'll deal with that, man. Never fear, laddie. I've got a finger. <laughs> you may need to brandish your weapon, Sergeant Chadwell. We are here to lick some serious butt. Kick, a zero fuzz kick, but for heaven's sake. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. No, 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 please, no, no. I just need to get back into practice. Oh, no, no, don't do your magic act. Please, please, I'm actually begging you. You've no idea how demeaning that is. Please. In your finger. No, it was in your ear. It was in your pocket. It was, you... it was close to your ear. Never anywhere near my ear. Well, no fun. Fun? Yes. It's humiliating. You can do proper magic. You can make things disappear. But it's not as fun. Make you disappear. Yourself richer. He was like, because I want to be rich. Did you wash your hands? Of course not. Oh my god! You ever use smoke? Same heart attack, different afterlife. Whoa, whoa, we were high five. Even if I did know where the Antichrist was, I wouldn't tell you we're on opposite sides. I rather enjoy being on fleek. <gasps> I ate a bug.